Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quick Poetry Knowledge and this is your hostess Mehjibin. I have already uploaded part 1 of my explanation of T.S. Eliot's humorous poem Macavity the Mystery Cat. Today I am going to explain the remaining part of this poem. Do check out the first part if you haven't already. You will find the link in the description box below as well as on the end screen of today's video. So let's move on to part 2 of this explanation series. So the poet goes on to say, He is outwardly respectable, they say he cheats at cards, and his footprints are not found in any file of Scotland Yards. So the poet is saying that McCavity looks very respectable from outside, or in other words, he seems to have a an innocent face. They say that he cheats at cards. Now this is again uh, uh, lending to the humor of this poem and his footprints are not found in any file of Scotland Yards. So you will not find the footprints of McCavity in the police records. And when the larders looted, larder is the is the store uh, is the it's the storage for food. And when the larders looted or the jewel case is rifled, when the jewel case is missing or when the milk is missing or another pig's been stifled. Uh, the pig is actually, it's a Pekingese uh, dog and uh, it is a toy dog. So when this dog is also stifled, when it is uh, threatened by, uh, by the cat, Macavity, or the greenhouse glass is broken and the trellis passed repair and the greenhouse uh, grass, uh, glass that also gets broken and the trellis also uh, gets damaged a eh, there's the wonder of the thing macavity is not there but after all these damages if you look for macavity the cat suspecting that he has done it you will never find the cat and when the foreign office find a treaty is gone astray, so when the foreign office in a nation finds that the peace treaty that had been signed between two nations that has also uh, gone mis uh, missing when an agreement, when an important document goes missing or the admiralty lose some plans and drawings by the way or somebody from the admiral's office loses some other documents there may be a scrap of paper in the hall or on this on the stair somebody m might be able to find just a piece of paper related to these plans and drawings in the hall or on the staircase but it's useless to investigate McCavity is not there but McCavity the cat who had committed these crimes of stealing these documents the cat is missing and when the loss has been disclosed, disclosed, the secret service say it must have been McCavity, but he is a mile away. And when the loss has been disclosed, when people come to know about the loss, the secret service has just one thing to, uh, to say that the documents have been stolen or they have been damaged by McCavity, the mystery cat, but at that time the cat is perhaps a mile away. You will be sure to find him resting or a licking of his lump, uh, of his thumbs. So you will find him resting or, and sometimes you may find him licking his thumbs or engaged in doing complicated long division sums. So this is again another line with lens, uh, which lends to the comedy, to the humor of this poem. You will be sure to find him resting or a licking of his thumbs. That means the cat is sometimes found taking rest or maybe licking his paws or he might be found busy doing some complicated long division sums the, uh, so this again creates the fun element in the poem but at the scene of crime when a crime is committed and in the crime at the crime scene the cat is never found Macavity, Macavity, there is no one like Macavity. There never was a cat of such deceitfulness and suavity. So
so he is a very clever cat and he is full of deceit that means he can cheat he can fool others very easily and there is nobody who can compete with him he always has an alibi and one or two to spare so he he always has a has an alibi that means it's very difficult for people to um, catch the cat re uh, red handed and what at whatever time the deed took place macavity wasn't there and and whenever the deed is committed the cat who is responsible for that deed the cat can never be found and they say that all the cats whose wicked deeds are widely known then the poet is mentioning some more cats here he says that when all the cats whose wicked deeds are widely known i might mention mungo jerry i might mention grizzle bone so these are the names of some other mischievous cats who uh, commit crimes they are nothing more than agents for the cat who all the time just controls their operations the napoleon of crime and this cat sometimes he teams up with other cats like mungo jerry and grizzle bone and uh, they they are like some agents they are like some assistants for this mastermind that is macavity he is the napoleon of crime that means he is the mastermind of all kind of crimes and sometimes in his crimes he is assisted by other equally uh, wicked if not more wicked equally wicked um uh, cats like mungo jerry and griddle bone i might mention mungo jerry i might mention griddle bone they are nothing more than agents for the cat who all the time just controls their operations so he teaches them how to uh, commit some crime and he masterminds their crimes just controls their operations and his macavity is the napoleon of crime that means he is the chief he is the master controller of all crimes committed by wicked cats well i do hope that you have understood this poem i'll meet you again very soon bye